Aye. The peace of our blessed Lord be with you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Welcome to the evening of this beautiful day. It is Easter Sunday. We want to bless God for having led us to this solemn day. When Christ our Lord defeats darkness, he defeats death giving all who believe in him the opportunity to walk and see in darkness without fear. As Mary of Mangala, Mary Magdalene, is seen doing today in the gospel. With the resurrection of Christ, believers are giving eyes that see even in the dark because Christ our Lord has defeated darkness and defeated death. Beloved, stay with me as we look at once again at the gospel of today, John 21 to 9. I will listen to what the Lord God says, for he speaks of peace with faithful ones. You and I, Psalm 85, verse 8. John chapter 20, verse 1 to 9. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed away from the tomb. Therefore she ran to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have put him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and made their way toward the tomb. They both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen clothes lying there, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter caught up with him, he entered the tomb. He saw the linen cloth, linen cloth lying there, and also the cloth that had covered his head, not lying with the burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside, and he saw and believed. They still did not understand the scripture, indicating that he must rise from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. Praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, Every year the Lord gives us a message when you read this gospel. It is the same gospel that is read Easter Sunday. But the, the, the inspiration God gives us with this same text, only nine verses, differs. That is how powerful God's word. In the past, I've meditated on Peter and John, both of them running, one being old, one being young. In the past, I've reflected on the action of Mary, the action of Peter, the action of John. In the past, I've reflected on what Peter saw and what John saw. In the past, I've reflected this same gospel on Peter seeing the barrier cloth rolled up in a separate place. Who will go and steal something and have time to clean your room and lay your bed before stepping out low. So if Jesus rose that covering, it is a sign that he was going to return. A lot of people have explained this. The first time I heard this message, it was so beautiful. It was like going to a restaurant and you having eaten, you fold up your napkin, nicely folded. You leave it on your table to receive a call. A sign that you are not done eating. But if you don't fold your napkin in a certain way and just throw it around, it will be an indication that you are done eating and you are not coming back. Jesus rolled up, he folded the barrier cloth, a sign that he was going to return. This day, the message the Lord has given me is different from whatever he's given me in previous years. And this is what I bring to your attention. Seeing in the dark, Eyes that see through darkness. Dearly beloved, when a child is born from birth to the first month of age, your baby sees in black and white and in shades of gray. The child is not very light sensitive. From two months to three months, the baby should be able to follow objects with their eyes. This is called tracking. They're able to recognize your face and start reaching for tens. That is two months to three months. 
they're able to remember what they see. From four months, your baby's vision is clear, and now they can see further away. From six months, your baby's eyes will be working together all the time. They can see colors like adults do. Play pick a ball and use mirrors to help different vision. From seven to 12 months, your baby is now moving around more. They are better at judging distances and grabbing objects. However, if your baby is not able to see, develop this vision, gradual vision, you may need to call a doctor or a provider help. So many Christians are not able to see through the dark as Mary or Magdala sees. Children who are not able to see progress in this vision may be premature babies, so a doctor may have to come in. Christians who had premature baptisms need the vision I'm talking about. They would need a spiritual doctor to step in. Yes, so many Christians have received premature baptism so they can't see through the dark. They can't see as mere of Magdala so Dearly beloved, what am I going to draw attention to? Let me take you to Mark 15 and Luke 23. In Mark 15, 46, we read, Joseph of Arimathea, having purchased a linen shroud, he lowered Jesus from the cross, wrapped him in the shroud, and laid him in the tomb. That had been hewn out of a rock. He rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Verse 46, Mark 15, 46. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph. This is not Mary, Jesus' mother. Saw where the body was laid. Pay attention. So the disciples are not around. But Mary of Magdala, the day Jesus was laid in the tomb, Mary saw where the body was laid. Luke affirms this in Luke 23, 55. The women who had accompanied Jesus from Galilee followed Joseph. They saw the tomb and how his body was laid in it. Matthew, in his version, will tell us that they were seated at the tomb and they were looking at it. They were just seated, waiting at the tomb. But Mark and Luke affirm that they saw where Jesus was laid. Because of Mary, Mary of Magdala saw Jesus where he was laid. Mary of Magdala, dearly beloved, on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, no person sees in the dark. We need light to see clearly. Man was not made to see in the dark. No person see in the dark without the light. But Mary becomes the first believer after the resurrection to crush darkness, to walk through darkness like a light. Why? Because yesterday, the Easter vigil, we have proclaimed the Easter proclamation, that song that is called the Exalted. The night when... The light of Christ, Christ darkness, defeated death. Exalt, let them exalt the host of heaven. Exalt, let the angels, ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud. Our mighty king's triumph. Rejoice, O mother church. Rejoice, mother church. With the lightning of his glory, let his holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the people. Because on this night, Christ's light has defeated darkness. At times we doubt it. Christ knew we were going to doubt that his light is so powerful to defeat darkness. So he gave Mary of Magdala the possibility to see through darkness. Who sees when it is dark? Nobody sees. If man can see when it is dark, there wouldn't be the need for light. So the first woman who gives an affirmation that indeed, after singing the exalted, the Easter proclamation, Christians can walk and see through the dark is Mary Magdalene. Lord, thank you for the witness of Mary Magdalene. That with the resurrection, we can see through the dark. The dark can be anything that surrounds Christian. Any negativity with faith, we can walk through the dark. We can see through the dark. The experience of Peter and John are different. Because of Mary Magdala saw where Jesus had been laid previously, when he saw that the tomb had been, the, the, the stone had been removed, he didn't move again to rest. He ran to call them. It is Peter and the other disciple 
who would get close to the tomb to see where Jesus had been laid because they were not around when he was being laid in the tomb, according to the testimony of scripture. Mary Magdalene, however, saw where Jesus was laid. So immediately when he saw through the dark that the stone had been removed, it was enough for her. It was enough for her. Peter and John, however, will have to approach the tomb to see for themselves. The Greek word used here, translated as saw, are different. Peter's action of seeing, the Greek word used is terel, the ability to analyze, concentrate on the meaning of an action. So Peter saw and was concentrating to understand what was happening. John's last scene in verse 8, that led to him to believe. It's a spiritual scene. Wow. Dearly beloved, the second reading of today affirms what I'm saying. Listen to what St. Paul says, the letter to the Colossians. Therefore, since you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above. It is only after the resurrection that we can seek the things that are above. Because with the resurrection, we receive eyes that even seek through darkness. If Mary can walk through darkness and see the tomb that has been rolled out in darkness, it means that what Christ is saying here is possible. Once you have been raised with Christ, with the eyes you have now, search for the things above. Only Christians have this capability. Only Christians have this gift. Dearly beloved, let us bless God for this wonderful gift of vision that sees through darkness, that sees through pain, that sees through death, that sees through sorrow, that sees through disappointment. That is why a Christian shouldn't be crushed when there is death, when there is disappointment, when there is sorrow, because we have been given eyes that can perceive see through darkness as Mary of Magdalene sees. How blessed you are. How blessed I am. How blessed we are that with the victory of Christ, you and I have acquired eyes that can still see through darkness. But for those Christians who receive premature birth, that is premature baptisms, they will need spiritual doctors to examine their eyes before they can come to this vision that Mary Magdalene has. I pray you were not, you didn't receive a premature birth, a premature baptism as a Christian, but you were given a normal birth so that your progression in vision reaches that of Mary Magdalene. May God heal our vision and grant us this gift. Stay blessed. Happy Easter. Amen.